Hey YouTube, this is Fix It With Biscuit here. We got the uh, heating plate here off and uh, completely taken apart. This is actually just the top plate. It doesn't, um, it's not the heating element of it. Uh, this is the heating element right here. And uh, I wanted to show you a video of putting it all back together. Uh, the heating plate and the element. So that way you could understand how to take it apart. And you just put these four screws in here. Like this. And this is the top spot of it. And this here is the bottom. Which this heating element will uh, bolt to it. It bolts to it. So... And I bent the plate is what was uh, out of adjustment. I bent it back um, as straight as I could get it. I don't know after I tighten this down if it'll change. I'm kind of wondering on that one. Because it is an aluminum plate and it doesn't take much to bend it really. And even this little uh, heating pad that's on the back, the heating element, could bend it because it's pretty thick itself. Uh, but we'll see. Not sure exactly. Just figured I'd make a video of this because uh, I don't know that I've seen any video out there of how what the heating element looks like on your uh, 3D printer or how to take it apart or put it together because I've had some people tell me get a 5 millimeter uh, plate instead of a 3 and I believe this is the 3 millimeter which is the thickness of the plate it's not the anything other than that it just tells you I didn't so yeah, that's how you put it together. I mean, and we gotta tighten these nuts up. And I'm not gonna tighten them real, real tight. They were, they were pretty tight on there to get off. I will have to say that. So. All right. And before, it rocked really bad. It rocks a little bit. Uh, that just could be the way it's sitting on here. But before, when I did that, uh, it did that. And I know that that's not uh, from it. But yeah, that's how you uh, put the heating element on the pad. And then this will go on the uh, platform inside here and each one of those long screws will sit inside uh, these sit the screws sit inside these and they bolt on to the with uh, wing nuts here on the bottom and that's how you adjust the um, the levelness of your plate you know from left to right front to back and I'll go ahead and put that back on I'm not gonna have the vi whole video of me just putting that back on it's pretty self-explanatory on that you know I mean you just set it on there it goes through the four holes and screw the uh, wing nuts up and then you put the other four little screws in ends here to hold the heating element tight and it doesn't have to be real real extremely tight because you'll warp or you'll possibly break your heating pad so you want to be careful with that uh, 
basically from what I can see this heating pad is just a oversized um, computer board with uh, heating uh, element ran through it that's what it looks like to me so but uh, yeah this is fix it with biscuit here um, just a little video of what the heating pad and uh, ele heating element pad whatever you want to call it I don't know I'm gonna call it a heating pad <laughs> uh, the build plate heating build plate whatever just a little video of it uh, showing you it off the plate so uh, stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching this is fix it with biscuit